Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody emailed me and they wanted to make a gear with a little bit of a slant to the teeth, kind of like a real gear, I guess, would look. And have one eight teeth around it. Probably the easiest way would be to just draw a rectangle. Hit P, put it in the center of the page. We'll make it a little bit taller. P again, center of the page. Bring down an indexing line and hit P. And you want just a very little bit of a slope, but we might as well do both at the same time. I'm going to double click. Well, I'm going to convert that to a curve so I can use the shape tool. And I'm going to add a node. I must have double clicked it. Add a node and then bring it in or bring it out. I mean, double click and bring it out. Now, I could have done that with clicks, but there's such an easy way to figure that out. So what we're going to do, we're going to control D and we're going to make a duplicate and we're going to mirror it. And I'm off just a little bit. But as you can see, we can use the Smart Fill tool to fill it in. And now we're not off. We're even. So we'll get that out of the way. We'll get rid of this. We'll bring this back to the center of the page. We'll left click, right click. And then we'll bring in a circle or an ellipse. Hit P, center of the page. We can make our gear a little bit longer, kind of stretch it out. Maybe the teeth won't be as sloped. I've actually got that one a little bit. So let's just kind of bring it in a little bit, put P. That looks pretty good. Now we're going to control D and make a duplicate. And because it's in the center, it's going to rotate to the center. And we'll go 45 degrees and take the whole thing and weld it. Then take another ellipse, draw a circle, hit P, put it in the center of the page. A little bit too big, bring it in, hit P. Take your Smart Fill tool, fill it in, and there you have a gear with sloped corners and corner gears. Anyway, I hope that answered their question, and thank you for watching.